riot police in Burundi retreat from stone-throwing protesters. It's the third day of demonstrations in this East African nation against President Pierre Nkurunziza's decision to run for a third term in office. Protesters accuse the president of breaking the two-term limit in the Constitution. And they're angry that police have shut down radio stations and arrested a prominent human rights activist. This man says our country is falling apart. Nkurunziza's decision to run in June elections has triggered the worst political crisis in Burundi since it emerged from a protracted civil war and ethnic strife a decade ago. Authorities say some 25,000 people have fled the violence. The prospect of a fresh buildup of ethnic tensions is sounding alarm bells across a region still scarred by the 1994 genocide in Rwanda just next door. And they're angry that police have shut down radio stations and arrested a prominent human rights activist. This Riot police in Burundi retreat from stone-throwing protesters. It's the third day of demonstrations in this East African nation and says our country is falling apart. Nkurunziza's decision to run in June elections has triggered the worst political crisis in Burundi against President Pierre Nkurunziza's decision to run for a third term in office. Protesters accuse the president of breaking the two-term limit in the Constitution since it emerged from a protracted civil war and ethnic strife a decade ago. Authorities say some 25,000 people have fled the violence.